If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. I'm sure you get this question all the time, and I'm sorry to ask it, but I've never heard you talk about it. Uh, can you talk, you know, not an hour, but maybe five minutes on just Kyle Bowler real quick? You don't know me very well, then do you? I <laughs> yeah. um, Talk for five minutes. Can you, I mean, with five, you know, don't, you don't need to elaborate, but a little bit about why you stuck with him for so long, what went wrong or what didn't go right with developing him, and, and what was your plan behind that for however many years that that was, and just kind of what happened. Well, it didn't, Kyle didn't develop the way we had hoped. Uh, the most, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be snotty with this, but when 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 Kyle wasn't playing well, who'd you want me to put in? No, I know, and I'm, I'm asking. That, that's part. That, that's part of the issue right now. The big discussion is what Jamarcus Russell. And everybody's calling from Jamarcus Russell's head. And believe me, I'm one. I don't think Jamarcus Russell's very good. Well, we saw what was behind him, right? Got, got Kowski or whatever his name was in, in, in uh, Oakland. Not a lot of options. It's, it's what's available to you at the time. It does limit you a little bit. Um, Kyle, there, and we've talked about this many times, and I'll throw it out again. I want you to, in your own mind, it's a rhetorical question so you don't have to blurt it out. Name the best 10 quarterbacks of all time. Think about it. Johnny. Well, yeah, I'm just rhetorical. Someone explain rhetorical to each other. Okay? Now I want you to think about what made each of those quarterbacks great. And you'll come up with 10 different things. The quick release of Joe, uh, Joe uh, or uh, uh, Dan Marino. The athleticism in the pocket of uh, Joe Montana. The laser accuracy of uh, Troy Aikman. Uh, the athleticism of Steve, whatever it is, and that tells you, so So, what makes a great quarterback? Well, for one guy, it's accuracy. For another guy, it's the quick release. For another guy, it's athleticism. For, for Tom Brady, it's an incredible intellect, football intellect. Um, so to identify and say, why is this guy, there were, I'll get my numbers wrong, it's in the book, and, and I'll, I'll mangle them, but I'll go ahead and do it. 43 quarterbacks, first round quarterbacks taken since 1995, I think it was. And by any stretch of the imagination, no matter how you rate them, 13 of them turned out any good. You know, you say it's a 50-50 crapshoot, it's a 30-70 crapshoot. Why? You know, we've, I've said it before. Ryan Lee, what a, a terrible bust by the San Diego Chargers. The fact of the matter is, if San Diego, had, San Diego hadn't taken them third, he'd have gone fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh. Because we all saw them the same way. We all thought Andre Rare would be good. We all thought David Carr would be good. We all thought Joey Harrington would be good. Um, so why? Hard to say. I, I, I was hoping Kyle might have an opportunity in St. Louis. Now keep in mind, it's not a very good football team wrapping around it. Kyle's got all the, all the abilities in the world. There's no reason he shouldn't be a good quarterback. He just has not added up. Just like there's no reason Tom Brady shouldn't be successful. He didn't have any of those. But for whatever reason, the right combination for him came together, and it was magical. So the, you know, the sheer odds of it, last year with Matt Ryan and Joe Flacco, defied the odds. So now, it's that's that's the benchmark. If you don't get Joe Flacco or Matt Ryan in the draft, then you're an absolute failure. That's why they take a staff, and that's why they take a Sanchez. That's why they took Josh Freeman, okay? Are they gonna all turn out? We'll find out, it's a tough one. Sometimes you stick with a quarterback because it's the only alternative that you have. Matt, or uh, John Fox, I had the Carolina-Arizona game this week. I was interested in seeing how long John was going to stick with Jake DeLone, and he's going to start Jake. Because part of the problem is, okay, I can do the grand coaching thing, and I'm going to replace my quarterback. Okay, well, well now what do I, you have in mind? If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.